Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Let's see. So we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. Seems to me, Taurus, that um, there could be some sort of a mental block that you're feeling, okay, when it comes to this connection. Of course, I could be picking up on the energy of the person that you're inquiring about, but, you know, this card says, uh, or it reads, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So maybe mentally you're feeling stuck or mentally there's something that you're revisiting or holding on to that could feel like it's creating a block. But it seems to me that, um, you know, like it says, the path is clear or you're able to move forward. So something here could feel more complex in your mind uh, than, you know, it is in reality. So let's see what's going on. The lovers uh, wanted to pop out here. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or there's a really important choice, a uh, decision on the table this week. <clears throat> okay. So we have the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and we have the wheel of fortune. This is about a change, more specifically a positive change. It could be, you know, um, feeling less, wanting to feel less isolated, wanting to come out of the cold with someone, wanting to, you know, break the silence or um, feeling very alone, even if you're connecting with someone, which is an interesting message that's coming through. So some of you could be connecting with this person, but you feel very alone or misunderstood and you're wanting to break down that barrier. So I do see a change here because the wheel of fortune is a positive change, but it also speaks about kind of like being at a fork in the road where it's like, do I, you know, choose direction A? Do I choose direction B? So like I said, there's a very important decision at hand, um, you know, for you to make this week. So let's start off by seeing how you're being viewed this week. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. Okay. So a Taurus like yourself, Aquarius, Leo, or a Scorpio. Knight of Wands. This is someone who's really, you know, very much attracted to you. There could be some sort of like very um, impulsive communication that you're receiving from them because the Knight of Wands speaks about someone like rushing in and it's stemming from a place of passion. There is a level of urgency. Okay. But it is someone who's going to make their passion or their attraction known here. I just feel like it could be very unexpected or you feel like it's very fast moving which is interesting because we did see the five of pentacles so something could be like picking up the pace and you know you don't expect it to like this could be a connection that was kind of stuck for a while and now that you guys are communicating again and things are progressing it could just be something that you didn't see you know uh, happening could be a sagittarius okay we have the four of cups and we have the king of swords in the challenge position okay it's also coming up in the mutual energy Here's what I will say, Taurus. There is an energy that is not satisfied with their current circumstances. They're not satisfied in their current environment. They're not happy with how things are going. There's a very defeated energy. There's a very, this is an energy of thinking about what you desire and then thinking about what you have now and feeling very defeated. So with the Four of Cups and the King of Swords in the challenge position, this may be someone who is thinking about you, okay, but they're in another situation or they're thinking about you, but there's something here where they feel like they can't really go after what they desire. And the four of cups, you know, it has a lot to do with illusions, which is interesting because the first card that we got for you guys is there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So what I'm getting at here is this is someone who's having visions of the both of you together. 
and they're in their own way. So this could definitely be a case of self-sabotage because the Four of Cups is not really any active restrictions. It's more so daydreaming or fantasizing and thinking about what you could have, but not really taking that leap of faith towards, you know, the very person or the very thing that you desire. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on out there. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But um, King of Swords, you know, is an energy of this person trying to detach from the situation or see the truth of the, um, you know, situation here, right? There's a lot of clarity that comes with the King of Swords, but it's also a very, like, problem-solving kind of energy. Like, let's get to the bottom of this, or I really want to find a solution. <clears throat> So for some of you, this is very specific, but this person could have recently went through some sort of an ending. Like the King of Swords could be read as like uh, someone who has gone through like a separation or a breakup, or it could be that you and this person are currently not speaking to each other. We did see the Five of Pentacles. But what I'm seeing is like someone who's like stuck in visions of the both of you together, or they really want to um, approach you, but there could be some sort of, like I said earlier, a mental block that they feel. Right. So even if there aren't any restrictions in the in the you know reality of the situation, it could be in their mind. The way that you're viewing them, the hermit, some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, but you're viewing this person as extremely isolated. You feel like they're a very wise individual. You may even see the potential, you know, in this person, but you feel like what they go through or what they're feeling, what they're thinking, they keep it to themselves. To the point where you may feel a little closed off or you may feel a little like an outsider in their life. So it seems to me that you want more access to this person or you wish that they were more open with you because how you're viewing them is they're not. They're not open with you and this can, you know, raise a lot of questions or you're kind of wondering how am I supposed to build a relationship with someone who's so isolated? The hermit does speak about, you know, some sort of wisdom that this person is gaining but it also has a lot to do with like feeling stuck or, you know, uh, being in kind of like that freeze response, right? Like something happens, but you're not really um, like you're acknowledging it, but you're not really moving forward or you feel stuck because of it. That's how you're viewing this person. You, you know, for some of you very specific, but you feel like this person knows exactly what they need to do, but they're just not doing it. Okay. So we have the judgment in your feelings and we have the strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. There's resistance towards change. There's something here that you're working through. So the judgment upright, the pro of the energy is you are leaving something behind or you are feeling like you're ready to, whether it's completely move on from this connection or leave behind something that you were um, facing difficulty forgiving. But then we have the strength card clarifying the judgment. So as much as you're trying to create a change, there's something here that's causing you to feel stuck. It could be something on your person's end. For example, if it's a lack of action from their end, maybe you're like, I'm really ready to see some sort of progress, but this person is not meeting me halfway, so it's causing me to feel stuck. Like, what do I do? Because the strength clarifying the judgment is definitely resistance towards change or you feeling like you're trying your best to move on from something, move past something, but there's like this constant block that you feel. So even if it's like, you know, you connecting with this person, you may feel like you guys always end up at square one or you guys are never really able to get to the bottom of the obstacles that you guys are facing. <clears throat> we have the high priestess in your feelings and we have the six of swords. High priestess in the strength card could be you being very silent with this person this week, keeping your emotions to yourself, uh, trying to figure things out on your own. And with the High Priestess and the Six of Swords, this is also an energy of you trying to move from one place to another mentally, though. That's what the Six of Swords speaks about. So your intuition is telling you, okay, you need to let go of what is stressing you out, or you need to let go of, uh, you know, what is um, feeling like a very negative thinking pattern. Because many of you are wanting a peace of mind, but you feel like, you know, being silent with this person or keeping that to yourself is somehow going to assist you. 
and the high priestess it does have a lot to do with your intuition but it's also like you're feeling guided to go in a certain direction but there's also difficulty that you're facing with making peace with this person or the situation this week so you're there's there are a lot of emotions that you're feeling this week <clears throat> I also feel, guys, like with the High Priestess and the Six of Swords, um, some of you, this could be a case of ghosting or someone moving away from you without an explanation. So you may feel like this is someone who, you know, you were connecting with, but they kind of left you wondering. So there wasn't really closure or there wasn't really a thorough explanation as to why this connection couldn't work out. Because High Priestess and Six of Swords could quite literally be moving away in silence, though. Like, you know, not receiving an explanation, not having a conversation, not really any form of closure here. So that's for some of you. And that could be something that's mentally impacting you this week. Kind of like, why should I reach out to someone that did not reach out to me when they were leaving me behind? Or why should I initiate a conversation with someone who has been silent with me? You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of viewing this situation as why should I overextend myself? Seven of Wands clarifying the Four of Cups, okay, and the Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. You know what I'm getting here, Taurus? King of Swords and Nine of Pentacles could be someone who has recently become single, right? So, like, whether it's they've gone through a separation or it was another situation that they felt, you know, very tied to if it's not about their singlehood, it's definitely cutting something out or cutting ties with someone. So they feel more independent. They feel like they can make decisions on their own or make decisions without worrying about impacting others. But four of cups and the seven of wands is this person in a very defensive energy. There is something that occurred between the both of you that this person is revisiting this week and it's still causing them to feel defensive. <clears throat> four of cups and seven of wands could also be read as like someone who is more so stuck in you know uh like a fantasy or or like visions of what you guys could have together but when it comes to taking action they're very they're facing difficulty with it it's pretty much what i see here and seven of wands is this person being also very protective over your bond and saying this is what i want so i want to go after it the seven of wands comes with a lot of strength as well right it's standing up for what you want or standing up for what you believe in despite you know different or or uh, contradicting opinions but it's like you know there's like a detached energy that this person feels because of what they're going through so as much as you're on this person's mind this week there's also like another ending or um something that they had to release that's on their mind as well like they don't get me wrong i think they feel more free to go after what they desire which is a connection with you but there's still something that's causing them to feel defensive with the seven of wands and the four of cups uh coming up in the challenge position and the Four of Cups being clarified by the Seven of Wands is a really interesting energy. Like this could be someone who feels like either there's a lack of interest on your end or they could feel like if they were to reach out to you, it wouldn't really uh, be the same in terms of what you guys used to have together, right? Because the Four of Cups could speak about boredom or like a lack of interest. So this person may feel like, well, so much time has passed by where if I were to interact with Taurus again, would it be the same? Would they still feel the same would they want the same things you know that kind of energy so there is a little bit of doubt here when it comes to the emotional department with that four of cups as well so what do we have in their feelings six of cups so someone who's definitely missing you feeling very nostalgic and we have the page of swords this person is definitely keeping tabs on you and if you're connecting with them there are certain things that they don't feel comfortable asking you so it's like connecting with you, but then trying to figure out other things on their own, whether it's, you know, through your social media or, you know, watching tarot readings, whichever outlet it may be. I do see that they feel a little bit um, invasive and they don't want to come off that way. But with the Six of Cups, I do see someone who's missing you, feeling very nostalgic, reminded of what you guys used to have together. And then we have the Page of Wands uh, in their feelings and the Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work something out with you, Taurus. You know, now, Three of Pentacles is not really a card of commitment, but it is a card of, hey, let's speak or let's at least get on the same page here. 
So I see communication from this person with the page of wands because that's what they're thinking about. That's what's in their feelings. And three of pentacles is like, let's work this out, right? Back to the king of swords, the problem solving energy. Like, let's get to the bottom of this, whether it's, you know, wanting to break the silence, whether it's wanting to be open about why, you know, they were, <clears throat> why they were coming off isolated in this bond or why they were choosing to, uh, you know, uh, part ways here. There's some sort of explanation that they're wanting to give you. Because when they think about the situation right now, they feel like it ended off on a note where it feels a bit all over the place. It, it's kind of like, you know, they may feel like there's a much needed conversation that did not happen. Or there's some something that they're still holding on to emotionally that they feel like they need to tell you. And this person has more of a desire for a conversation with you right now because there's a lot that they're holding on to that they um, did not reveal and it's making them feel a bit uneasy. We have the Ten of Wands followed by the Nine of Cups in the potential outcome. What's the Ten of Wands? The King of Pentacles, okay. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely communicating with this person. I do feel like communication from this individual will make you very happy with the Nine of Cups. But when you have the Ten of Wands as well as the um, King of Pentacles here, there's definitely something this person has, like an ending they have gone through. This could be someone who let go of a situation that was very burdensome. But even if it doesn't have anything to do with you directly, it was somehow impacting the bond that they had with you because this very block wasn't allowing this person to move forward towards you. And the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles could be, um, you know, in the potential outcome when you're connecting with this person, you may feel like it's going to take a lot of work to get to where you guys used to be. Right. And again, you have free will, so I can't tell you what to do here, Taurus. But I do feel like there's an energy of you feeling like, OK, it's going to take a lot of work for us to get to where we were um, in the past. But I definitely see you on the receiving end of communication, this person feeling like they can go after what they desire because they finally let go of something that is not serving them. And nine of cups and eight of wands, like this, this communication will make you very happy. It will make you feel very fulfilled, very wanted. I think this person is going to acknowledge that you are who they desire because nine of cups is like wish fulfillment, but it just seems to me that there was like a continuous block. And if it, if it wasn't another energy, it's someone who was up in their mind with the four of cups that could be, you know, having a hard time seeing past illusions, you know, a case of self-sabotage, but I do see them communicating with you and feeling more ready to move forward. And it's interesting because I'm being drawn to the first message there, the freedom card. So some of you feel like there really never, or there never really was a block. It was just all in this person's mind or things felt more complicated in the mind space as opposed to like the situation or the reality of the situation wasn't as complicated as maybe what this person made it out to be in their mind, right? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.